Hi, hello and welcome to this new series here on New Esports. Once again, I'm going to try and do a series on my jersey collection. This time we're going to get through all of them because we're doing 10 at a time. I uh, counted through all of them last night. It was a long process. There's 213 football shirts and some other sports as well. But we're going to go through the football ones and um, that's what this series is all about. And we're going to start with hometown club, the Newcastle Jets. Um, I drew these out randomly and it told me 2014-15 Jets home shirt. I think this is it here. Um, you know, this shirt, right, it, it brings back some horrible memories. Um, Johnny Steele. Do, does anyone remember that name? Um, Montano, those sort of days. I think, um, I think it was a stubborn year, wasn't it? Um, I don't mind the uh, all red on the back, but I don't know about these spray paintish vertical lines. Um, Castle Quarry products, it's an indication of the Tinkler era. Um, just a time that most Jets fans would probably want to forget. A real classy thing here is that 10 year um, anniversary logo on the back. Um, it's made by BLK. Uh, it's a decent shirt to wear. Um, I still think some of the, the later BLK shirts um, are better quality. We'll move on, we're only taking a minute for each shirt. This one's this year's shirt for Arsenal away kit. Um, I think I saw this out of Everything Football and decided to order it on kit bag to, to save a bit of money. Um, that's nothing against those guys, they've got to go by the retail price, which unfortunately in Australia is through the roof. So I bought this um, from overseas. Um, I really, really love it when Arsenal wear yellow. I, I just think it's a great alternate to the red, um, especially this year. Like, I mean, look at this thing up close and the pinstripes and, you know, you've got your, your Arsenal gunner on the back and the sleeves. Like, look at these. This is just, it's a classic, timeless look. Um, I do have another one of these. I've got the old... Um, a yellow and uh, maroon one that they wore, but um, you know, you think Arsenal away sh shirt, always yellow. Uh, the third shirt we're going to see is one of my favourites in the whole collection, Hamburg uh, from Germany, or Hamburger, whatever you like to call them. Um, this is a brilliant combination of colours. I don't know if the camera will do it justice, but this thing's good to wear. The fabric, it's um. I don't know what sort of fabric it is, I'm not much of a fabric expert, but it's not its not jersey material. This is sort of like a, a t-shirt sort of material. Um, you'd think I'd look up and see what material it is before I do this video, but um, it's got the, the thing on the back and the, the Bundesliga patch and uh, the Herms on, on the other side, that patch there. But this is just so nice to wear, this shirt. Um, I don't like their, their home kits very much because they're mostly white, but this is just one of my favourite shirts in my whole collection and that's that's uh, exactly why I got it. Uh, this one's also another one of my favourites, uh, Aston Villa from uh, 2015, 13, 2013 Aston Villa kit. Um, this was before they got relegated so still in the Premier League. Um, I, I, hate, I hate betting sponsors, I absolutely hate betting sponsors, um, especially those Asian ones, I'm not being racist here but you know with the, the the Chinese writing, the Japanese writing. I just think it looks stupid on a, on a football kit. Um, as you can see, I've worn this a fair bit, but the tag is actually wearing out because I love this collar. It's probably one of my favourite collars. Eh, collars? Colours? Collars. If you had to ask me best football colours, and I would tell you claret and blue. Um, that's what we got here. Aston Villa, you can never go wrong. Um, except when they play West Ham or something, but, you know, even similar to the Arsenal one only, those, that sleeve and that classic Premier League badge. I, I miss that Premier League badge. Here it is again on this Tottenham shirt. There it is. Barclays Premier League, I miss that. Um, this Tottenham shirt, it's one of the earlier ones I bought and it's um, starting to fall apart a little bit. It's fairly, it's an airy sort of kit. It's got holes and it's got the... Um, the hot spur on the back, I don't know if you can see that, but um, it's a shirt I've worn so much that it's starting to wear out a little bit. Um, 
first Tottenham shirt I got. I, don't think, I think I've only got three of them, so... Um, I think this was still in the Gareth Bale era as well, with Erasmo as the, uh, the major sponsor, and I think Under Armour had just jumped on board, and um, that's really all I can say about it. Like, it's starting to, uh, to wear out a little bit, this jersey, but nonetheless, that's what happens when, when jerseys sit around and you wear them, and this one I haven't worn, and I probably will never wear it. It's uh, Brisbane Roar. Still got the tag on it, as you can see. Um, picked it up on sale at Rebel um, a couple of years back. I think it's a 2014-15 home shirt for Brisbane Raw Coffee Club. Um, I do like the Paul's Milk logo. I think that looks good on a shirt. Um, I do like this thing on the back as well, this Queensland sort of dot thing going on there. Um, I like Umbro as a, as a, as a brand. Um, the first shirt, I mean, look what I'm wearing. Uh, the first, congratulations, Huddersfield, by the way. First shirt I got was Man City Umbro, um, the one they won the league in, the the Aguero League, not the not the not the other one. The Aguero moment was in that shirt. Umbro make good shirts. They're a classic company, and Brisbane, it's a pretty good look. Uh, it is ripping off the Netherlands, which was also one of the first international shirts I got was the Netherlands. Uh, this one, Sporting Lisbon. I was going to say Kansas City, but no, it's Sporting Lisbon, the original Sporting, Sporting Portugal, whatever you like to call them. Um, Ronaldo's old club. It's got the, you know, it's got a nice back on it, and I think this is what this whole green thing here separates it from being Celtic. If if it was just hoops, I'd just say that's a Celtic shirt. But um, no, it's got the the real um, rubbery sponsors. I don't like those. Uh, that's something you'd see on a rugby league shirt. Um, collar is a little bit loose, but nonetheless, it's a Puma shirt. Um, Super Bock, whatever the hell that is, is the sponsor on the back. MEO, the sponsor on the front. Um, and that logo, that's a pretty decent logo for Sporting Portugal. Still the only Portuguese shirt that I've got, but I saw today Benfica brought out their new shirt for next year, and it looks really, really good. Um, I don't know if this next shirt looks really, really good. It's, it's a pretty uh, bright pink. Real Madrid uh, away kit from 2014-15 season. Um, I bought this just before they played in Melbourne, just after they, I went and watched them play anyway, but I think this is what I wore down there. This is Ronaldo on the back, of course. Um, it's just, it's a good shirt to wear on like a women in football day or, you know, a day where you just want to wear a pink shirt for the hell of it. This does the job really, really well. Um, I really like that, the, the La Liga logo. I think it's changed this year as well. So that's the old La Liga logo. You've got your Emirates sponsor. I don't know what, it, I don't know about that on the, the back of the collar. That, that font is sort of not great. The actual lettering, I don't get many names put on the back of shirts just because it costs a bit too much um, on top of the actual shirt. But this, this font is really nice. Um, next. Two more shirts for this first video. Seattle Sounders, first, um, second American shirt that I got. I think Chicago was the first. As you can see, it's still got the old MLS logo, so it's a few years old. Uh, 2014 is what my list says, but I think it might even be 2013, I'm not sure. But I've worn this a fair bit. Um, I played out at uh, Cahiba Six Aside. My team was green, so I wore this a couple times out there. I wore a Portland shirt as well. They're arch rivals, but they both wear green. Um, you got your Xbox sponsor, which, in my opinion, green Xbox, it goes hand in hand. The green and blue, I think, is a unique uh, colorway, I guess you could say, for for international football side or club football sides. I can't think off the top of my head another team that wear green and blue like this sort of green and blue. Um, so it's pretty unique colors for uh, the Seattle Sounders. Excellent stadium they got there at CenturyLink Field as well. Also, um, a football stadium, NFL. Last but not least, we've got Blackpool, who, like Huddersfield, got promoted on the weekend, but in a lot less um, dramatic scenes. Uh, their fans are revolting against the club. And I'll tell you right now, a lot of these shirts, they aren't cheap, some of them, but this one was literally £10, which is $17 or whatever it was at the time. They were throwing these out like they were just 
garbage, you know. That's, I think they'd just gotten relegated, so I think this was when they were in the championship still, but, um, you know, what happened to Blackpool is absolute, just, it's absolutely wrong what happened to Blackpool, and I uh, hope them well, and you got this black and orange and white, um, a bit West Tigerish for those rugby league fans out there, the Sky Bet Football League shows that it's sort of not that old of a shirt, but nonetheless that's Blackpool, and that is our first episode of this uh, new series. I don't even know what to call this thing. How about um, Jersey Vlog? I don't know. Jersey Vlog Episode 1. We'll be back with Episode 2 whenever that's posted. Could be tomorrow, could be next. I don't know. See you in Episode 2.